hello guys welcome back in this uh, small short video tutorial I'm going to document how to set up this node MCU and how to connect it to a Wi-Fi network so here I have one node MCU and I have connected one OLED screen to this node MCU so that I can just get the output on a small screen instead of monitoring the serial data serial port so this is how it is done it is pretty simple and straightforward D1 to the SCK D2 to the SDA then VDD with a 3 volt and ground to the ground I have another video tutorial which go through the complete basic setups and everything I will provide the link in the description if you want you can go and check that one let's jump into the program I will explain the program I'll explain the codes one by one so this is as usual we have to include some libraries SPI.h for the library used for the communication between the PC and Arduino board Y.h I will use for I, I square C communication between the node MCU and the OLED these two Adafruit libraries are used for the display functions in the uh, in the OLED and the last one ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h it will be used for the Wi-Fi based functions here I am defining the screen width and the screen height of the OLED screen so if you have a different uh, model with a different size you can change it here these two variables I am defining the SSID name and the password this is basically the uh, Wi-Fi access point SSID and the password which I am going to connect to this uh, node MCU I will define the OLED reset pin as minus one and also I will define the I square C address of the OLED screen here as uh, screen address this may change based on the manufacturer so you have to check the documentation and see the I2C address of the display which you are using here I will initialize the display with the uh, screen width height class and reset pin before going to this one I will explain these base two functions these two functions are used for the scrolling effect on the OLED screen so basically there are two things one uh, I created a buffer like a memory buffer to hold the message which are going to be displayed on the screen and every time this function is called it will add one line to this buffer so here based on the screen these variables will be changing so I will uh, define the constant maximum number of lines as 8 and uh, this is the string buffer variable uh, I will, which I am using to hold all the messages all the strings which need to be displayed on the OLED and this is the starting line of the OLED screen now let's go to the void setup here I'm initializing a serial communication between my PC and uh, this node MCU I will use this one to monitor or debug to get any debug information while uh, checking the codes and everything in this line I'm checking in this lines I'm checking the OLED screen is able to connect or not so if not display begin on this address 0x3z then print SSID allocation failed SSD 1306 allocation failed that means the LCD have some problem and I'm not able to connect and display if this is successful then I'll clear the display and set the text size here and set the text color as white here also I'm putting it as white because sometimes there are OLEDs coming with different colors this is the the text size is one means the minimum um, minimum number you can use for the text size in this next line I am setting up the Wi-Fi station Wi-Fi uh, module as a station mode and I will disconnect if any access points is already connected onto this module then I will try to connect with the uh, SSID and password which is given in the here in this next line I will wait until the Wi-Fi is connected so this is how it is happening Wi-Fi dot status is not equal to w connect, WL underscore connected that means if the Wi-Fi is not connected yet I will clear the display 
go to the cursor at 0 10 and push this uh, string connecting to Wi-Fi and call the display function so I will just display this message on the screen on the OLED until it is connected now once it is on once if it is connected now once if it is connected then I will clear the display and call this function add line to buffer and add one line Wi-Fi connected and I will update the display that means it will refresh the screen and it will uh, display including the previous message including this line and then I will add another line which is nothing but the SSID and also another line which is the local IP address and then I will update the display to show all this information on the screen let's see how it works on the OLED I'll show it in my camera okay guys so in order to test the pro I just loaded the program into the uh, node MCU so in order to test the program I set up a mobile hotspot with the same uh, username and password and if when I switch it on you can see okay, you can see text changing yeah, that's the uh, SSID and IP address.